hear him. <laughs> hey there. Oh, yeah. They're big ones. I want to catch some 30s today. Here they come. Here they come, right here. Woo! Right here. She's on it. She's got it. Got it! <laughs> Easy, big girl. There's two more with her. Uh huh, she went back around. <laughs> <laughs> little sea world show she wasn't expecting that you guys to say the least not happy, not happy. <laughs> so i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna tire her out for just a second as soon as she kind of turns over and you see that little white belly she'll be ready i got a good hook set on her all right honey <laughs> broke her right here. Oh, broke it all. Yeah, perfect world, you guys. I probably should have just grabbed that little net right here next to me, but I was going to try to handle her. It's all good. There's more in here. I probably should come help you, but I'll yeah. pull it down with camera equipment. So, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got a fun trip planned for you guys today. We are out here locked in, stuck. We got nowhere to go, can't go nowhere. We got nowhere to be. Got our schedules cleared out for the day and we're gonna sit back here with a bunch of redfish for a few hours. Um, the plan is to see how many of these big girls we can catch and tag. I've got probably about 20 tags or so and I would love to use every single one of them if I possibly can and tag a bunch of redfish in this creek. And Tagging along with me uh, today is Mr. Walt Hope. Walt has uh, fished with me in a couple videos before. Last time him and I fished and you guys got to see him, we absolutely crushed it. That was an incredible day. That was actually the day where I've got three nice video segments out of it. Um, but Walt, he's actually out here filming for his channel as well. Um, Walt is also a fellow YouTube content creator. Uh, he does fishing videos just like me. His channel is called Like the Fish. He's starting out just like I did a little over a year ago. He's got a GoPro strapped to him. He knows where the fish are. He's one hell of a fisherman. And he's out here catching fish, you guys. He fishes a little bit further south than I do. His fishing tactics and style is slightly different than mine, which is awesome. Because uh, every time I go fishing with this guy, I always learn something new. So if you guys are interested in checking out Walt's stuff, um, I'll actually leave his link down in the description below, but he'll be out here on the boat with me today So you guys will definitely get to see plenty of him All right, well, we're gonna get re-rigged back up and uh, see if I can not lose another 28 inch redfish at the boat <laughs> Got it? There you go. Oh, I don't got it. No. Swim. I don't know. I might still have it. Swim. Yep. I got you got it. him. He was swimming right at the boat. Right <laughs> oh, I knew he was about to do it. <laughs> I could feel it. I was like, oh. Dirty dog. I didn't know where for him to go. Uh huh. <clears throat> All right. I want to uh, stake the rear of this boat. These redfish are dirty, you guys. They're strong. Those of you out there that have, have hooked into these upper 20 slot redfish, you know they'll, they'll break your leader like that. They'll get you right at the boat, they'll make a turn, put a weird angle on that knot and snap. Yeah, that one actually ran me under the boat and 
the way the boat was sitting, I couldn't take him around the front because of the anchor pin, and that was a long way to go to get him to the back. <laughs> Got him. Oh! Dirty dog. That oyster set you up. Man, he had it. Gosh. David, brother, I'm about to be putting another order in. <laughs> that is like my third my third Texas I have lost. <laughs> These fish are not playing nice, you guys. No, they're not. They're not. It's okay. It's not their first road yet. They're loving it, man. I uh I love these eye strikes, dude. The, the action on this little guy right here, these little tail stands, it's money. I think that oyster set you up on that one. It did. Couldn't do anything. I, I was just ticking it, bouncing it off of it. I had to keep it moving. Another thing is this procure. This procure gets so messy. If you guys have a workaround for this, of a way to get this stuff out without getting it on everything, let me know uh, in the comments section below. My buddy, um, Kyle, actually has, has loaded it into like a medical syringe and squirted on that way. Those are cool because you can stick it in the bait. Yeah, I haven't tried that. Maybe that is the, the new thing. See, the problem is in the summertime, this thing gets really hot yeah. and it gets very liquidy. And I don't want to just keep it in a cooler full of ice. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Look at the tail. <laughs> I don't think I can make that cast. Let's see. Look at the wakes. Holy cow, Walt. I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> see, see if this makes a difference. Hey, you put a candy bar in front of a kid, you don't care if he's hungry or not, he's gonna eat it. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. That is right there with him. Got it. Got it? Yeah, he's on. He's on. Got him. He's on. That worked. <laughs> oh, 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 20 minutes of casting at these fish. Yeah. And we finally hook up. <laughs> Oh man. Well, I think I know my, what might work. Found the combo. <laughs> we did. Got it. Oh, again, I gotta change hooks. <laughs> they're not. Uh, they're not getting good hook sets with these Texas size. No. All right, I'm gonna switch to a circle. All right, this isn't working. All right, I got a 3-0 circle hook right here. I'm just gonna do an improved clinch knot, tighten it down. Trim off this little excess real quick. And then just a little pinch on weight. Just like that. So we're just using this nice little juicy nugget right here. I'll go in through where the the leg used to be. And just go ahead and pop it out through some of this shell. I like that. Woo, they're getting rowdy back there, they're coming. Yeah, it is blue. I, I'm talking as far back as I can see right here. Oh yeah. One just good come completely out of the water just going nuts oh she's got it she had it the whole time she's running around with it in her mouth <laughs> <laughs> you got your gopro i don't i don't i can get it though oh she's running at the boat she's running at the boat all right <laughs> blue crab for the win again. Easy, baby. Let's see if we can get one on the boat. <laughs> can you can you film and net? <laughs>
<laughs> Normally I just reach down and grab this fish, but man, we need a we got <laughs> we need some scales on the boat besides mullet. <laughs> all we've had is one flounder all morning actually get landed. Woo, baby. <laughs> Dude, we work for that. We set her low. That was definitely a team effort. You can set her down here. <laughs> I'll take it down here. Dang. Woo! Boys, we have worked hard for this today. <laughs> oh, man. I think we literally threw everything in the river at this fish. We did. Fiddlers, shrimp, mullet, blue crab, and every piece of plastic we had. <laughs> Procure shrimp, procure inshore. Yep, yep. See if we can get a measure on it. Easy, baby. Nose up. Zeroed. 26 and a half. Fish. Beautiful fish. She's healthy. Awesome. Right here. Good hook set. Looks at it right in the right in the corner. Bang! Perfect. Get to track it and see where that fish has moved, if it's moved, um, how much it's grown. There's one. Got him! <laughs> yeah! Right there where you saw yours blowing up. Whoa, she is I big. I you as soon as we pulled out of here, she come right back to it. Yeah. Jeez. That is another Ooh, big one. Funky. She is. Wow, that's Ooh. a big one. I need to try to push this around. Yeah, again. she's taking me around the corner. I'm trying to get her to turn. Yep. Woo, she's got us going around the corner, you guys. Man. Holy cow. Oh, that's fine. Grab that net. She is spunky. Oh yeah, that's 30 inches right there. Easy, baby. <laughs> All right, we gotta make this quick. Here she comes. It's a good, that's a good hook set. Yes! <laughs> Baby! Woo! Tell me I'm rolling on that. We rolling! <laughs> All right, man. Set her on the ground. Yeah, Jeez. Wow, there's... 32, 33. Yes, baby. All right. Let me reset this camera, guys. Beautiful fish. <laughs> How about that? Old football. Old football, man. Got her. Got her with that uh, eye strike. Texas eye, one eighth ounce. Beautiful. Come on over to the side. I'll, get, I'll grab this release. Dan's uh, moving her back and forth, working out some of the lactic acid that builds up from the bite. This is also a benefit of having a gloved hand. She doesn't slip out of my hand as much either. She'll stay right here and I'm just, I'm waiting for a hard kick. I don't want to let her go and she's tired and she winds up getting, getting cramped up and whatnot. I want her to swim out hard. She did, she tired. There she goes. Trying that. Yeah. Give me a look. 
Okay, a little bigger than that. 